Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to respond to a viewer who wrote in asking for my help in creating a thermometer chart. Now you've seen thermometer charts drawn and, and hung on office uh, walls. You want to track progress towards a sales goal for the month. You want to track the number of volunteers. Anytime you're tracking progress towards a goal you want to have a thermometer chart. Instead of drawing it on construction paper I'm going to show you how you can do it digitally in Excel. So let's take a look over here. We have have our daily sales we've used the sum function here to total our progress our month to date sales here is an absolute number that I've written in this is our sales goal for the month and here's the important cell in this cell we're tracking the percentage of progress towards the goal so this cell is a formula that takes the month to date sales divided by our sales goal this is the cell that we are going to chart but before I do that I want to draw your attention this is important for a thermometer chart make sure that there's a clear separation in this case I have a blank row separating the number that I'm going to chart from the rest of the spreadsheet so with that cell selected come up to the insert tab of the ribbon come over here and we want to create a column chart so in this case I'm going to use a clustered column chart now let's bring this over closer uh, several elements that I want to get rid of right away number one we don't need the legend number two I do not need the horizontal axis I also would like to get rid of the grid line so I want to select the grid lines press delete and there they go now the first gotcha over here is let's take a look at the Y axis the value axis over here you see it's going up to 50 percent we need this to go up to a hundred percent because we need to see our progress as we inch up towards our goal so here's what we do right mouse click come down here and format the axis of course in this case it's the vertical axis in the dialog box on axis options we want to change minimum and maximum from auto to fixed so for the minimum value that's fine fixed at zero what we want to do for our maximum is change that to be 1.0 in other words a hundred percent click OK and there you go so you see now we are monitoring our progress towards uh, meeting our goal now we do want to put in the label so we want to put in the label for our progress we want that label to be this number and it will change as we add more sales so what we'll do is we'll come over here onto the chart tools layout and we want to come over here into data labels now notice the choices that you can have I could have it centered I could have it inside the chart I could have it inside the base in this case I want to put it outside in the end so there is that number and I use the keyboard shortcut control shift greater than I hold down control shift while I tap the greater than symbol to increase the font size now we want to test this out so if I put in a sales number all right there you go so you see the chart itself grows as does the number and whenever you're doing any formatting on the data label you want to test this out to make sure that it is connected to that label down there all right a couple of other cosmetic things that we could do perhaps we would like to make uh, our column chart a little wider so what we can do is right mouse click format the data series the default setting is 150 percent now if I change this down to 50 percent watch what happens you see the lower the number you see how I made that wider I could fill up the entire area if I change that to zero on the gap width all right some other things that we can do for formatting well first off let's change the text on this label let's change it to 1.5 million goal and of course we could change the placement of this we might want to move this down you see what happens over here when I click when it changes to that four-headed arrow I can move it down here I can also right mouse click format the chart title and this time let's apply an alignment let's have it so that it is actually a negative number let's make this negative five percent and there you go and of course I could change the uh, the font I'll do that a little bit later all right now let's apply some other formatting so again select the chart this time what we want to do is come up here into the design tab now this is new in Excel 2007 we have these preset designs so for example if we want something like that 
wow that's pretty cool that's pretty sharp and of course we could also change the chart type so one way to do that would be to right mouse click change the series chart type or on the design tab of the ribbon come back over here this time let's change it in to a column chart so there you go I mean into a, a cylindrical chart again we might want to make some changes here we might want to move it back we could also come over here from the design tab of the ribbon move the chart and this time let's put it on to its own worksheet so there you go and of course let's I move this up let's again move this again what you want to do is make sure that you're clicking and dragging the edge so move that edge over there and again control shift greater than will increase the font size I like to do it because rather than guessing what the font size is it's a good way that I can see it uh, being controlled uh, let's change this back to the 2d column chart oh, I hit the wrong button I want to change the series chart type this time I want to change it back to a column chart and this time I want to apply a picture once again I'll right mouse click format the data series and in this case on the fill what I want to do is not have an automatic fill I want to put in a picture or a texture now I already had a piece of uh, clip art that I had selected with the thermometer so here if we come back here onto our main chart and if I make a hundred thousand oh, ten thousand one oh 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 there you go and now it's uh, sixty percent check it out and you see how it grows to 60 percent so there you've seen how to apply data labels to a thermometer chart you can use a picture you can change the chart type the key elements were to change the vertical axis the y-axis minimum value make it fix the zero maximum of 1.0 and we also eliminated some other elements we eliminated the horizontal axis we eliminated the legend so there is just one tip for creating charts in Excel. I have several other lessons which show you how to write or make effective charts on my DVD. And I'll see you in the next lesson.